visiting this um, um, YouTube channel for the first time. This is um, Jopreneur. I am a blogger and a YouTuber, though still new in the industry, kind of. <laughs> and uh, my blog um, is actually jopreneur.blogspot.com. I would like you to visit my blog once in a while and, um, you know, drop your comments as you read uh, my posts. Also, um, if you like this video, I would like you to um, um, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe so you can get more um, of what I'm about and also click the notification button so that you can uh, be alerted as soon as any other video comes up. So yeah, today I'm going to be talking about um, multiple planners and how I use mine. I know there are people who subscribe to just one planner, one in all or one fits all. Well, if it suits you, um, there is no problem about that. Just go ahead with it. But I personally started with um, just um, one planner because I like things being um, kind of compact. Unfortunately, I discovered it doesn't work that way for me. Besides being a blogger, I'm also a working class lady. I worked uh, a sort of um, an, um, a um, 9 to 5 job, what I would call <laughs> actually an 8 to 5 job. And um, so, yeah, there are different areas of my life that need to be um, organized, need to be um, planned. And using one planner for my work, for my um, blog, my YouTube um, um, planning, my social media information, my household, my financials and all sorts uh, just didn't work for me. So um, I am one person who supports the multiple planner system. You don't have to subscribe to it if you don't um, agree with it. But from my experience, my personal experience, I realized one planner just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't cut the um, doesn't what just does not do it for me. So I'm going to um, quickly go put you through my active planners at the moment. I have other journals and um, notebooks and planners that are not yet in use. They're still brand new, but I actually acquired them because I have seen there are other areas of my life that I need to capture in um, planning as well. Yeah, so I'll show put you through quickly my journals, my um, notebooks and planner very quickly. Yeah, I'm going to start with this one. This actually here, this guy is a very busy guy. This is my work planner. Now, when I started the planner journey, I told myself, um, if you have visited my blog, you would realize I'm all for um, cutting unnecessary expense, expenses. Well, if you can splodge, if you can afford to splodge on anything, why not? Go ahead. But I try to um, seek alternatives, you know, to reduce costs where possible. Don't get me wrong. There are certain things I splodge on. I do. Honestly, I do. But um, I don't, I try at this point to not make it a habit. I need to give, let you in, you guys in on very important information about me. I am what you call a recovering spender so you can understand that in trying to cut cost I'm going all out because I used to be impulsive I used to purchase things that I eventually found out I did not even have need for so at this point in you know total uh, makeover in my life I'm trying to avoid anything that would um, you know make me go back you know that will make me relapse yeah, so when I started this journey, I could have, I might as well have just, you know, gone online and purchased one of the well-known brands like um, the Philofax, the um, Erin Condren, the um, Kids Paid, uh, Happy Planner, whatever names you go by. There are so, so many beautiful planners out there. Um, they, of course, boast of good quality most of the time. But I also realized that um, there are other planners, no name, or no brand um, planners 
that um, are actually very very functional as well like this one for instance when i purchased it it doesn't have a name whatsoever the packaging too did not come with a name but i wasn't bothered because i was not really after brand name i was more or less after what would um, serve my purpose and so yeah i got this planner and it served me quite well as a work planner to be honest now when i got this planner this was my very first uh, purchase i actually had some empty planner covers that i had had over the years but when i started this planner journey deliberately that was this year january to be precise this was my first purchase as in intentional planning this was my first purchase and honestly guys i had intention of using one fits all so you can understand that when i am saying one planner did not work for me i have good reason i had no intention from the beginning to have multiple planners but at, the, at this point in time in my life multiple planner is what is you know doing it for me now i'm not really going to do uh, much of a run through my planners i just want to show you how i'm able to utilize multiple planners effectively like i said at the beginning i'm only putting us through my active planners and journals and notebooks actually i have others that are still empty but i'm just showing you those i'm already putting into use and those that I, i've just started putting into use yeah so for my um work planner agenda personal size um to be honest with you i would say this is more like an a5 rather than personal i think the uh company that produced this well it, it might not be an error it might be their own measurement for personal size as you can see here it's written here agenda personal size but this is actually to me an a5 size yeah um it comes with a calculator as you can see here comes with a calculator so it makes life a whole a whole lot easier for me um, it has um, a slot for um, cards if you want to use them for that and it has this um, slip at the back or rather uh, should I call it a pouch where you could stick in other additional documents and um, in this one I have you know notes that I stopped in to revisit later on and this particular one is a sticker i purchased and uh, i'm yet to put into use it actually wasn't what i was expecting it to be when it was delivered to me the picture i saw online when i was making this purchase is quite different from what i got but anyway i decided not to return it i would still uh, make use of it maybe not as a work uh, in my work planner but i definitely will make use of it i will just add it to my um, stash of um, planner accessories yeah i have a whole <laughs> stash i actually splurged on that to be honest now it's just very quickly it has the uh, personal the owner's information section it has a dashboard that comes with a tab this one here says monthly yeah it has other sections this one says um, weekly as you can see here and this is where I do major work in the book uh, weekly section actually and I also kind of use um, post-its for additional information as I plan and as I go through the day and if you notice when I am planning I also um, use my uh, marker pens to strike through once a task has been completed I strike through so I know what is outstanding and what um, task has been uh, completed yeah so this is the section weekly section is my most active part of this um, planner this planner also has a section um, called today where I used to specify certain things that happened in a particular day besides my um, plans for that day yeah and then towards the end you have um, 
notes. I also use this quite a while. I use it for um, mostly wish lists and some financial planning and all that. Rough sketch, of course, of my financial planning and all that sort of things. Yeah, and then this after that, you have the tab in alphabets, alphabetical order that talks about um, where to get um, your contacts A, B, C, and D, E, F, and so on and so forth. Yeah, and then towards the very back, you have another dashboard for uh, notes. Yeah, so we have a lot of space for notes here and I use this to jot down my goals and things like that for my work. Yeah, so that's basically it about this um, planner and towards the back I did a DIY um, PVC envelope pouch. Yeah, it's something I just you can easily get from the stores. It's kind of, kind of squeeze now. I purchased this and I just punched um, six holes with my six hole planner and um, um, planner punch <coughs> excuse me and put it right in here and inside it i have sticky notes mini size sticky notes and the bigger post-it or sticky notes uh, i have a flash drive here for um since of course it's a work <laughs> a work planner so you expect to see such things in it yeah so this is all about my um my work planner actually made of good leather to be honest and it's serving its purpose and um, I know I'll be using it for more years to come because thankfully I don't need to um, purchase or splurge on inserts we know we can easily get um, free um, resources online printables online for um, planners travel note notebooks and all that and that's my intention to, you know I'm already researching the ones that I would use that would even probably save better than the ones that came with this particular um, planner yeah so that's this for my um, work planner uh, the next active one I'm going to bring in here is my <coughs> as a Christian this is my um, faith I call it my war binder more like a faith planner it's my war binder it's um i tend to be a bit more the um, creative or imaginative in this one i have a lot of um several um planner accessories i have purchased over time i have the planner stencils you can see i drew this using the planner stencil well this is free handwriting of my the title war binder and i drew this key here with um a planner stencil and these are um stickers from one of my stash from my stash rather these are sticky stickers from my stash and um yeah and this is um an index tab i purchased it comes in different colors so all i needed to do was pull one out stick it on and label this section this section is labeled my studies so in the first section is where i do my studies actually at the moment i'm following what you call the soap method the s o a p that's scriptures or observations applications and um, uh, prayer that's the method i am studying with at the moment yeah so with each page what i do is i write out the scripture and after reading the scripture i um write down my observations here what i observed what's you no know, popped out to me what stood out to me in the scriptures I, I i i just read and then how i'm going to apply it to my life and then i give a short prayer based on this very um um study i have done yeah so that's what i've been doing like i said i've been a bit more <laughs> creative on my um war binder making it to you know, to be so attractive that i want to come back to it time and again yeah then the next section is my um prayer section we are writing specific prayers that i am presenting to god for you know certain things for people i'm praying about for my personal needs and other things i am praying about 
and then the towards the last the back i have the last section that is my gratitude section in this section i am writing out you know in steps bullet points all i am thankful to god about so far so good this year thanking god for his goodness and thanking god for so so many things i'm grateful for so many things to god i have so many reasons to be grateful to him so yeah this is all a brief summary of my uh war binder i'm just using a, a normal um notebook for this and it's actually a nice reflective pvc um hard cover yeah so this is my um war binder then I have a smaller one here. I've had it for a very long time. This is my what I use as my brain dump. If you check my blog post, my blog rather, you will um, see where I talked a little about brain dumping. I've not really elaborated on it yet, but I intend to do that um, very soon. I use this for my brain dumping. It's quite a very nice um, leather. Right at the back here, you have a pouch where you could sleep in things you want to sleep in. And it has this uh, pen loop and this pen actually came with it came with this uh, mini pen this pen has been there for quite a while now yeah it has a branding here so when you open it up you see another pouch here again where you could put in sleeping more um, things you want to put here and then here you have slots for your cards so you could even use this as your cash system if you choose to and then here you have the main um, notepad that came with the um, this um, well I don't know if I should call it a planner yeah the good thing about this notepad is it is detachable it's so it's kind of refillable so when this gets filled up all you need to do is pull it out you either purchase another one of this size or you make one of it yourself if you are a DIY person like myself right and you slip it right back in and you have a new brand new brain dump system yeah I like the fact that it's quite small and portable so it's something that can go everywhere with me so as ideas are you know dropping in my head I have something very handy to you know note them down yeah then also I have my um, household planner I haven't exactly put this in the perfect order but I'm still this is what I'll call work in progress yeah in this one I have most of my household activities my chores my planning for the house my uh, meal planning and things like that yeah this one has a place for your driver's license or identity card and it has several slots for um, your cards and this part again where you could slip in extra jotters or documents into this is actually a three ring binder the work binder I showed you is a six ring this is a three ring binder and I actually have mostly printables free printables in this particular um, planner actually I did not <coughs> This is an old um, binder I have had. Actually, I registered for one of these um, distributorship, um, organic distributorship um, entrepreneurship business. And during the registration, this binder came along with the welcome pack. That's how I've, I had this. So I didn't really buy this one. But I went online and printed some free printables. This is the goal for 2018. I love this particular design. is because it's share the goals into different categories you have the focus for my 2018 my major focus is what i could put here and it has my spiritual goals it has my personal goals it has my family goals it has my financial goals it has my um health goals it has my marriage goals and it has my um career career goals so this is quite elaborate for you know setting goals and I, I really love this concept I give it thumbs up for um, the designer of these uh, goals this goals printable then the next I have is um, at a glance year at a glance and um, calendar 
where I just quickly circle important dates, birthdays and whatnot events coming up for the year as they fall due. Now I have this one, the annual budget, which I honestly have not used and I realize now it's quite important in my financial planning. So hopefully by 2019, I should start using this annual budget. It's good to have an annual budget. I actually printed two pages of it. Then we have, still have, this is a month at a glance calendar. This was for the month of April and I like the fact that it is in box form so that I can quickly write in information for each day that um, I need to take note of. So it's quite useful for um, taking appointments. When you open this month at a glance, you can easily know when you write down each day's activities, um, important activities and appointments. You can just have a quick glance at this page and know if you can create a page or a space for some other um, activity. Please pardon the uh, background noise. A plane is just flying over my house, <laughs> and I, I live in a kind of a, a busy neighborhood. So, um, pardon the noises you will hear in the background once in a while. Yeah. So this is my debt worksheet where I put write a list of all the debts I owe, which is alarmingly a lot. And as I pay them off, I strike them out. Actually, I haven't struck some out yet, which I need to do. And that have noticed them they are paid off but not struck out yet then this is where i had for my bank account but um i have not really used it as well it has two pages too yeah two pages and then this is the notes section where i take down notes used as my wish leads and other um, personal information that i need to put i also at the point was using that my uh, financial planning um, section that um, I changed my mind and I got a new uh, notebook just for financial planning. I realized a, um, the financial planning on its own needs a whole lot of um, it, it, need, it needed its own space and that's what I did eventually. I'll show that to you shortly. Yeah. Now these inserts are the original inserts that came with this um, um, particular binder. I am keeping this particular page because it guides me to get the accurate page size when I have printables I need to cut in size. And this is um, um, personal planning, monthly planner. Um, it has the contact section and uh, whatnot. Client section for business people like you can see here. Yeah, and has more notes at the back and I also made another DIY um, PVC um, envelope pouch for this one as well and of course I just have a sticker sticky notes in this one yeah you can see it has a pen hook as well every of my almost all my planners have the pen hook even though I know I didn't point out the one for the work planner they all do have the pen uh, loop yeah so finally Wow, I love this notebook. I just decided to keep my financials separately from every other um, thing and I was looking for the best way. I've actually had several um, notebooks and journals and whatever I needed I was contemplating to use for my financials until I came across this particular one and fell in love with this design. It's simple but I just love this the fact that this um, um, what I call them springs are very large so pages just flip over very easily doesn't you don't need to struggle to turn the pages yeah so this is a PVC cover it has and then the first page it's actually a student notebook so you see where you write your timetable for the uh, semester and notes for the semester and your name and all that it's actually a student notebook now I have not really keyed in much of information for this like I said, I'm just beginning to transfer into this notebook from the previous um, place I was doing my financial planning in the household um, binder. Yeah, this is for June 2018. I actually have drawn my lines. I have this first, the last column is the balance. The next to it is the actual. 
and the very first is the um, budget so for every cat um, category or for every expense or income i have what is budgeted for it for that month and then the actual is what i eventually spend on it for that month and the balance is in case i spent more than or below the budget amount the difference or the balance is what i put here the variance is what i put down here yeah the way i plan out my month is this i have my income as the first one and expenses follow then i have bank charges and savings what in summary this first four minutes these are actually summary of everything else so i don't get to feel apart from the income section I don't feel these other parts until towards the end of the month when I have done the total calculation of everything here then I put in the total expenses for the actual and then bank charges for the actual and savings for the actual the only thing I put in at this at the beginning of the month is the, budget, the amount I am budgeting for each of these uh, sections now after this summary section I have my tithe as a Christian, I take I believe in Titan. I take my 10% out. I have what I call the covenant seed. I pay covenant seeds. It's something I've agreed to uh, pay as a seed to God every month. I have my covenant seed. I have my rent. I send a monthly um, stipend to my parents. So I have my parents here. I have a target savings, which is different from the actual savings. This target savings is actually automated. For this particular year, 2018, I have just two automated savings. The Christmas savings, which I am planning to use for Christmas, and um, the what I call the outpouring conference savings. My church has an annual conference every year that holds in uh, either first or second week of uh, November, and so I feel I felt it was a good idea to save towards it so that I would be very comfortable when I eventually traveled for that uh, conference, which is usually outside my state. It's an international uh, conference and held in our health quarter. Uh, headquarter church and then um, I have phone for myself and my parents then I have utilities I have my cable TV and internet I have my dues I joined the women's group so I have dues to pay every month then I have my grocery these are now my categories if you have um, watched my cash envelope system um, YouTube video you will understand when I talk about the categories so I have my categories here grocery household personal church um, health car treats education miscellaneous now this one here trip shouldn't have been here it's just a new addition to my budgeting so it's actually something that i pay once off in a month it's um, a new uh, savings corporation cooperative i i joined where um at the end of every year i get my um initial capital back in bulk and then including um interest got accrued for that one year so i see it like more like a, an investment that was why I was interested in it and added it here. So I actually started this month of June to do that. Then I have down here debts. So if I have any debts, this is where I'm going to pay it uh, off. So yeah, that is it for my financial planner. Yeah. The next page, I just have budgeting tips. When I listen to YouTubers and catch, you know, get something, a, a comment or a phrase or a statement or whatever they say pops, you know, out at me. I just jot it down here so i can always you know replay it in my mind yeah so this is my financial planner so far i'm still working to transfer my previous information in it so this is a quick run through on how i use different notebooks and different uh, binders and whatnot for planning as you can see i'm using a total of um five one, two, three, four, five. Five actively at the moment. And um, there are others I'm going to show you very quickly, which um, I want to add to the stash. This one, I love this one too. It's written here, Office B5. It's also a notebook. Um, and I love the fact that it's also PVC hardcover. And this one comes with dashboards and uh, page tabs. That's why I love this one. It's actually already um, divided. It has dividers, you know, dividing the um, pages. I'm already looking at 
I'm already considering using this particular one as my uh, business notebook because that is one thing I have not yet put into, uh, have not made to become active and that's not a very good idea. I just have my information in, you know, pieces, bits and pieces, which is not right. So I'm going to, um, int I intend to transfer it into one of in the new notebooks I have acquired. Now, it has to do with my, my, my blog posts, my um, YouTube planning, my um, social media and everything about my online activities and their business i also have another beautiful notebook i want to show you very quickly this is beautiful glittery glitters black and glittery and very very nice notebook i am yet to decide what i want to use this one for um this one the beautiful thing about this one is that um, when this notebook is done excuse me i did the wrong thing when this notebook is done all I need to do is pull out the notebook and put in a brand new notebook and continue. So the beautiful thing about this is that the um, back cover remains constant. I just need to change the notebook that is inside of it. Yeah, so this is all about my multiple planners and how I use them and how they are working well for me. I can say that I'm actually enjoying the way I'm using them. I can tell you <laughs> using one fits all has not really worked for me. If it works for you, why not keep it up? But it hasn't really worked for me. So guys, thank you for um, watching. And um, please, I would like you to um, give a thumbs up to my channel. I would like you to subscribe. And I also like you to uh, click the notification button so that as more videos are uploaded, you are alerted about uh, them. And I also also want to encourage you to visit my um, blog. It's jawpreneur.blogspot.com. And um, this is Jawpreneur, your girl, saying thank you for watching. And till the next video, bye.